Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, which is part one of a multiple part series. We will be showing you how to mesh the aft cavity secondary injectors and the expansion region. We will create a boundary plane at the center of the cavity. Additionally, we can utilize a plane at the point of symmetry and mirror the topology horizontally. However, considering the simplicity of the case, we can directly create the blocking for both the top and bottom injectors. Hole topology. To start with, we will first create the topology for the injector holes using hole topology tool. A tube or pipe which has opening in the domain from one or both the sides is considered as a hole and can be meshed easily with the automatic hole topology tool. For the two sided hole, as in the current case, we have to group the top, bottom, and hole surfaces in separate surface groups. Once the input groups are given, select any one of the empty corner groups for the outer block faces to be grouped separately and apply. This will help us in linking and extending the rest of the topology. This will output the topology for both the holes with assigned surfaces, including the automatically created internal support surfaces for the holes. Link the outer faces which are grouped in C9 as shown. Select and wrap the given set of faces to create O-type topology around the holes. Here, C1 group contains the faces to create O-type wrap and C2 contains the faces that shall be excluded from the wrap. We will copy and extend the topology to the boundaries and assign it to the respective surfaces.
extend the topology inside the cylinder which is enclosing the injector top and assign it. Repeat the steps for the bottom side injector as well. Now the topology is fully assigned to the surfaces. Validity check reports that the topology is valid. We can check the density of the block before running the G-Grid with the preview option. Run the G-Grid. The grid density is not uniform and is sparse in the cavity region as well as around the injectors. To make the grid more uniform, balance the density by adding the blocks and changing the density. Also, for the grid to converge faster, move the blocks in the cavity region towards the assigned surfaces.
we can now see that the grid is uniformly distributed around the holes. Also, the average skewness of the overall grid is around 0 0.6. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave us a like and subscribe to the channel for new videos. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave it below. If you want us to post tutorials on any specific geometries, you could write to us on support at Follow us on our social media pages, links are posted in the description.